All right, now let's talk loud, louder, and loudest. Um, I'm going to start with actually louder first. This is the Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication. It came out in 1999, and this is one of the ones that's considered uh, noticeably bad sounding for the consumers. Uh, when you think chili peppers, you think nice snappy drums, and those get sucked out quite a bit when you're over-limiting it. Again, this was produced by Rick Rubin, the same one who produced that uh, Death Magnetic album, so you can draw your own conclusions there as to who's to blame. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Californication. So there's an edginess and a distortion that's not quite natural that really shouldn't be there. So this song caught a lot of heat from that. Um, another album that got heat for being poorly mastered or just excessively loud is this uh, track uh, off the album Playing the Angel by Depeche Mode. Um, it's like a gorgeous song that, that gets ruined by over-limiting it because you hear these nice, beautiful percussive stuff. And, uh, yeah, listen to this. This is uh, Suffer Well by Depeche Mode off of their album Playing the Angel. Where were you when I fell from grace? A frozen heart, an empty space. Things change and it's in your eyes. Please don't speak. You only lie. So yeah, it sounds just really compacted. There's no room for the percussive stuff to come through. Uh, but one really cool thing about this song that I wanted to point out that I noticed, you know, when I first started playing for my class a few years ago. Um, but look at the sound field. The sound field shows you the uh, stereo information. Um, and what's cool is it keeps the voices and uh, the verses, everything, almost everything is dead mono. Like you see a straight line on there. And then it hits the choruses and a few sounds, it like widens up, which is really cool. It's a really great production idea. So listen to this verse and how it goes in the chorus and see how that sound feel looks. I found treasure not where I thought. Peace of mind can't be born. I just think that's a really, really great production technique of going from mono, then opening up in the choruses like that. Uh, too bad it gets wrecked by the uh, over digital limiting on there. I'd like to hear this album on vinyl because you can't limit stuff this loud on vinyl. So this is hitting at minus six LUFS, which is pretty, pretty hot. So the next or third example in this video I want to show you, uh, this is a song off of a Queens of the Stone Age album, Songs for the Deaf. Um, this album came out in 2002 and uh, features Dave Grohl on drums, if you didn't know that. But this is an example of, a, of an album that's super loud, but I don't think the digital limiting hurts it too much because just like that social distortion song where it's just like a wall of sustaining guitar with some kind of drums poking through a little bit so i think for what they were going for this doesn't bother me as much because this is supposed to hit you like a wall of sound a wall of just a constant so almost lo-fi vibe to it so check this out and uh, this is the lufs on that Outside the frame.
So it's super loud. It's at minus 4.6 in LUFSs. So that is uh, super hot. But in this instance, I don't think it's that bad of a choice. Um, I probably wouldn't do it, but I can see it working for this album.